If you use MailChimp, then you're probably familiar that something's changed this year in 2019. For example, if you have a MailChimp list, you'll notice that now with a free account, you can only have one list. They've taken away the ability to have multiple lists in MailChimp. Now, this is uh, perhaps a challenge if you want more than one list. So today I'm going to reveal how that uh, multiple lists can still be made available by a clever little trick in MailChimp. I'll show you how to do that for free. And also later in this video, I'll also show you a really good plugin for WordPress that will enable you to take those multiple lists and use them within your website to collect various audiences. So stay tuned, look out for that later in the video. Welcome to Zanet Design. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I use my 20 years of experience to help businesses like yours to grow on the internet. So we mentioned this thought about uh, MailChimp. Now, as we say, MailChimp is a really good free marketing tool. One of the advantages of MailChimp is it allows you to have over two, well, 2,000 subscribers uh, to your channel without charging whatsoever. And that's a great way to, if you've got a small business, to enable you to grow and to grow on a budget where it's absolutely free and you start paying once you get beyond the 2,000 subscribers. Talking of subscribing, of course, if you can subscribe to my channel, then it makes my videos worth making. So please do subscribe. It does mean a lot to me if you can do that. So let's just think for a moment about MailChimp then, a free marketing tool, really useful, and many people use it on their website, and certainly I use it for the majority of my clients if they want a free marketing tool. But you might ask yourself, well, why would I want to have more than one list? If you're a business or a shop or whatever you're doing where you're collecting emails through a sign-up form on your website, you might just think, well, I just want one list a list of all the emails that uh, 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 for the people that I'm interested in, in supplying information from, maybe via a newsletter or just some updates. Well, one of the reasons why you may want different lists is because you're aware that in your website and in your business, you have different audiences that visit. So for example, with my website, uh, not only do I do uh, web design and WordPress design for small businesses, which would be one audience, but I also manage websites for some small businesses, which is a different audience. And on top of that, I also give MailChimp um, marketing advice out, which is another audience. And another audience that I seem to inherit is people ask, can you just take my website and make it into a mobile version? So to make it mobile friendly, that's a different audience. So maybe that when I send out a newsletter or information to uh, perhaps my email customers or the lists. It could be that I want all those lists to receive the information. But on another occasion, I may want to send out some information just to small businesses that I think would interest them. So by having different lists, you can decide when you send out a, a newsletter campaign, which lists would benefit most from it. So that's why you want multiple lists, if that works for your business. But in effect, what they are is they're different audiences. And that's really where the trick is with MailChimp that we're going to look at today, is that if you think in terms of audiences, then rather than using lists, which is the old way, MailChimp now wants you to think about audiences instead, which is one of the reasons why if we're looking for a MailChimp audience, uh, a MailChimp uh, list, you'll find it's now missing. So let's uh, step into that on MailChimp and uh, see how we can discover how to grow that. And then at the end, we'll look at also a really good plugin that will combine this to make it so it works just like the multiple lists in MailChimp that you're used to using. So the first thing I've done is I've uh, logged into my MailChimp uh, account. And uh, after logging in, uh, I can see there that uh, I've got uh, a screen here that shows me my audiences. Now, um, at the moment, I've only got one audience, a current audience, um, to play with here. If I go to try to add any audiences, you'll notice here that then it goes to an upgrade area. 
So the current plan that I'm on is um, for free, and that includes one audience. Uh, so they've taken away lists, so MailChimp lists no longer exist. They call it audiences instead. And then you've got a case of you need to upgrade. So if you wanted three audiences, then that will cost you $9.99 a month and five audiences are trying to get me to go to. Now, the thing is, is I mean, if, if you want, if you have a budget for this, that's fine. Uh, and as your, um, as your MailChimp list grows, then it, certainly that would be the right way to go. But if you're just starting out and you want to have a couple of different audiences, then there is a workaround, which is obviously what we're going to look at now. So how do we go about this? Well, uh, we'll go back to our free plan, which we'll stick to. And you notice here that under audiences, you only have one audience, but within audiences, you have tags. And this is really how you can use lists or replace uh, a MailChimp list with tags instead. So here I've put the MailChimp uh, tag, I've put a mobile tag, and a small business tag. Now, if I was to go into, uh, so if you want to create a tag, you just click on create a tag and then you put in the name of the tag. You can have as many as you want tag wise. So it's unlimited there. Now, this is a key then to uh, going forward because once you have a, a MailChimp tag, uh, you can then go into your WordPress. And this is where we're going to now um, really change the way in which this works within your website. So if you go to Easy Forms for MailChimp, which is uh, done by Yikes, and I'm not associated with them at all, but this gives you, in effect, unlimited amounts of sign-up forms. And with those sign-up forms, you have the ability, and most of the other forms don't allow this, to work with the API so that it then decides which form goes to which tag. And that's where, in effect, it works exactly like lists. So let's see if I can explain this by going to my website. So first of all, once you've installed your easy forms for MailChimp um, in your normal WordPress website, then you'll notice you've got uh, the ability to uh, fill in the MailChimp API, which you'll need to do. Uh, and of course, you can just click on this link and it'll take you through to your MailChimp account where you can then put that API in. So once you've done that and saved changes, you can then go into the opt-in forms area. Now in here, I've just got a few that are made up just to give you an idea of how it works. So um, we see here that you can have a MailChimp, uh, a small business, a mobile. Those are the three that we initially uh, looked at here. Um, so they're connected and it finds them by um, literally you create a form and then you then locate which, if any of the tags, it goes through to. So if you don't put any tags at all, it'll just go through to your standard uh, audience. But uh, if you want it to be a specific audience, then you can go through to a particular tag. So as an example here, if I, if I clicked on mobile, it takes me through to this page. And this is a form builder now for mobile. Um, so the form's called mobile. And then on here, I can ask how I want the form filled in. So this is just a case of creating a form. So I want first name, email, website, and yes, agreeing to a, a type box. But the key bit is really here. So after filling in the form fields and any groups, the fact you've now got tags, so you can click which tags apply. So you can even have multiple tags. So it could be that when they fill in this form, you want them to subscribe to the mobile and the small business tag, but not the MailChimp tag. Uh, and once you've set that up, you're then basically ready to go. You have a, um, a short code up here on the right hand side that enables you to then add that into any of your web pages. Uh, you can go through things like opt-in, associated lists. Well, we've only got one list as we saw. In fact, it's not a list anyway now, is it? It's uh, actually called an audience. But that really enables you then to uh, sign up people to particular sections of your your um, list or your uh, audience, your one audience, and then you can then extract uh, when you send out a, a newsletter. You can via Mailchimp decide which tags receive that Mailchimp newsletter. So hopefully that's been useful. Uh, it works uh, really well if you understand uh, the process. It means that you can certainly have uh, Mailchimp lists like before but you just have to view it as tags within audiences rather than lists. So hopefully that's been useful for you to just as a recap to remember that lists are audiences in effect going forward in MailChimp in 2019 onwards. 
Uh, secondly, to remember that if you use tags, then it gives you the same power as using lists. So set up your tags as we looked at a moment ago. And finally, just make sure that if you use uh, uh, any WordPress plugin, then the one called Easy Forms for MailChimp, that's the one you want. I found it is great, works really well, integrates nicely with WordPress, and then you can set it up with, the, uh, with MailChimp's API to use those tags. And therefore you're then just as equipped and no longer do you need to worry about having multiple lists on MailChimp because now you'll find that this works in exactly the same way. It's just a slightly different way of thinking. So as I mentioned, I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I try and help businesses like yours to grow on the internet. So hopefully you found these little tips for MailChimp useful and do make sure that you subscribe. Um, you'll probably see that it's a button in the middle of this screen there. Thank you.